Hello, I'm Simon Hill, Product Demonstrator at the Leicester Customer and Training Centre. And today we're going to be looking at some of the features of the 309 High Flow Machine in combination with the HM210 Mulcher. So today I've been tasked with clearing a fence line uh, down in one of the yards and I've chosen the 309 because it's got the extra pump which gives me a continuous flow to the mulching head and that also gives me fast cycle times for using the boom in and out uh, and correcting my height, adjusting the neck of the uh, mulcher there. On a traditional machine without the extra pump all those features slow down because all the flow is going to the work tool. So now I've got a dedicated feed to the mulching head and I've also got power and speed for the rest of the controls and function of the machine. So on the cab guards, they both hinge. So the bottom one here at the front held in place with two rubber straps. So pre-open the top one. You hinge it open, allows me to clean the glass, get rid of the leaf litter, any uh, debris and dust. And then the top one, undo the two straps again. That holds up, there's a little stay on there which hold it in the upright position, giving you easy access to clean the windows. One of the benefits of the 309 is it's equipped with an additional pump. And what this pump does in here, when I use any auxiliary tool with continuous flow, once the continuous flow light illuminates green, this pump then engages, giving me a continuous feed to the attachment. So when using the mulcher, I've got full speed and flow to the mulching head and also gives me the ability to track, boom in, boom out, stick in, stick out and crowd the bucket linkage. Now we can take a look at the HM210 mulcher. So on this mulcher I've got these chiselled teeth and on here this is the wear area so as this wears down you undo the bolt at the back and you can rotate the tooth round and that will give you a second life. You use the other cutting edge on the top there. The mulcher has got two hydraulically actuated doors and on the rear of these doors there's some metal veins in there so once I've brought the tree down and chopped it up I do that with the door open I close the door then and I go over that material again and that brings the material around the drum and shreds it on those other veins in here. The rear door, I normally have that down because there's chains on the rear door and that will slow the flow of the material down so it's not throwing it all over the yard. If there's an application where I need to swing at the tree from the rear, I can open that door up and then the drum's nicely open and I can feed the material in. So with the two doors, I control how much material blows out of the mulching head, so I'm not throwing it all over this roadway for example.
keep following the page for updates on our next episode.